Hey, hey, hey fam, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things embodiment, entrepreneurship, and living your best, most delicious dream life. Bunny says hi, he is with us for this video because we are talking about something pretty crazy, something that's pretty important to a lot of us, and something that a lot of us are going to struggle to get over or get through for the rest of our lives. So, without further ado, being the black sheep of the family is amazing, I believe, and also really freaking scary. It could mean sabotaging your relationships, it could mean not having a relationship at all with one or both of your parents or part of the family, which is kind of what I did. The thing is we need to remember why we do the things we do, why we dress the way we do, or why we didn't choose the career that they wanted for us. Whatever it is that has kind of made you the black sheep of the family, there is a reason for it, I'm sure. There's always a reason. It's us being us. It's you trying to find yourself. It's you trying to find the best way for you to live happily and mentally and physically well. And that is important and that is what they will see in the end and they will learn to love you through that and appreciate what you're doing through that. So a big thing for me is that I have been processing this trauma, I've seen psychologists in the past, I will continue to go and see one in the future, still processing it, still repairing relationships and building upon relationships as I've changed and they've changed and their needs and my needs have changed but of course only with the people that do love you and respect you and don't bring you down i had to cut off one half of my family but the other half is beautiful and i'm repairing that relationship although it still sometimes makes me sad to see them because i miss what we used to have and i miss that i couldn't have that all of the time things happened and we both changed, but it's worth it and it's beautiful. And yeah, as long as you can find the people that still love you for you and support you for what you're doing and are happy that you're happy, that is what matters. Try and remember that, especially if it's an old generation that kind of see you as this black sheep that have kind of cut you out from things or don't understand you or don't really try to understand what you're about, it's their conditioning, it's not your fault, it's what they have been through and what goes on in their head. It's really, really hard for us to reprogram our brains after 50 years, after even 10 years, 5 years, 1 year of thinking a certain way, of people telling us to be a certain way. You end up believing that that is how it should be and then you want the best for your kids or your family or your friends. So you kind of put that onto them as well. So that is where it comes from. It's not your fault. It's all of their past conditioning and stuff. And it's also maybe what has made them happy in the past. So they believe that that is how you can be happy. And remember, of course, this comes from love. It all comes from love. They want to tell you to do a certain thing because they love you and they want the best for you and that's how they believe that you will be happy. So all we need to do is show them that they can be happy for you because you are happy doing your thing your way. Often when these things happen, when people separate for a while or don't have as close of a relationship, it's usually in like teens or early 20s and then it kind of comes back and you can resolve and repair and rebuild that relationship. Time is okay. It's okay to take time to figure out what you want, especially if it's kind of breaking out of the womb kind of situation, breaking out of the mold, and they're probably just in shock. It takes them a few years to realize that, oh, okay, they're doing okay. They're still on this path, so it must be a thing for them and I love them, so here I'm going to support them. It just takes time for them to kind of get over that huge change and to get over whatever ideal or whatever path they had in mind for you. Obviously, this is not easy to do and I can only start talking about it now. As I'm 27, I've done years of work on this. I didn't talk to my family for years at a time when I was going through all my stuff and figuring out who I was as a person. 
but now that I am kind of more settled and I have a plan for myself and I'm looked after and I'm looking after myself, it's a lot easier to show up and be really grounded in who I am and they feel that and they love that and I'm okay reaching out to them more and hearing about their life even if there are some comments some snide comments or some comments of like I don't understand why you're doing this I don't take it personally nearly as much anymore so it definitely gets easier please 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 try to remember that it gets easier and you never know they may get some inspiration from you and start trying some different things themselves you also don't need their acceptance all we need is the love and acceptance of ourselves and knowing deep inside that we are doing what's right for us just as you try and accept other people for living their lives and maybe it's completely different to yours but you still love them and that's totally okay with you they will be trying to do the same because they love you that in the end is really what it comes down to you can continue to live your life to be however you want to be express yourself be different to all of the people around you that's totally sweet you will find your support you will find your community your family however you want to live your life it will make sense to you and it doesn't need to make sense to anybody else it just needs to feel right for you and feel like you are on the right path for what you want to achieve in life and how you want to be and what actually makes you happy you don't necessarily need to understand them or spend heaps of time with them or acclimate to their life and they don't need to do the same to you you can love them from afar if that's what works best for you or you can love them from close by but still do your thing and have a very different life. You don't need to tell them everything. All of these things are totally okay. It's your life and you deserve to live it however you want. I hope that helped some of you. Today has been a little bit difficult to record because I am a little bit sick. But we love being here and I love speaking with you all and connecting with you. So if you have any video requests or any questions about some stuff that came up in this video or any of my other videos, please leave a comment below or send me a message on Instagram at Kalilikan. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more of these videos and we will see you soon. Okay.